Welcome to the engineering drawing subject. Today we are going to discuss about one of the important problem in section of solids. So the problem is a hexagonal prism of base side 30 mm and axis length 70 mm rests on one of its ends on HP with two base sides parallel to VP. It is cut by a plane perpendicular to VP and inclined at 30 degree to the HP. The cutting plane meets the axis at 30 mm from top. Draw front view, sectional top view and the true shape of the sections. So here we need to understand the problem. What is given? First thing you need to understand object. What is the object given here? Hexagonal prism. Then what is the base side? that is 30 millimeter then height what is the height 70 mm then. object position object position is nothing but the first position of the solid so here one of it end on HP with two base sides two base sides parallel to VP this is the object position this is about the first paragraph in second sentence what is given we need to identify the angle of section plane and the position of section plane. These two parameters are important for section. Here, the cutting plane meets the axis at 30 mm from top. So, the position of section plane is 30 mm from the top. Right? And it is cut by a plane perpendicular to VB and inclined at 30 degree to HB. This is our the angle of section plane is 30 degree to the HP. So these are the parameters we need to identify before we start the problem. Right? Always we assume that the solid is resting on uh, placed on HP when this kind of sectioning we are going to do. Now I will give some demonstration for your understanding of this particular <coughs> problem. Right? This is the external prism. Right? You need to understand here. So this is our uh, uh, principal planes HP and VP. HP and VP position. This is actual uh, external prism. We know that. So this is the object. Right? Now we are going to cut the object. How they are placing? We are placing this object in HP in such a way that two of its base sides this is the base sides two of the base side is parallel to VP that is the position given two base sides are we can keep parallel to VP like this way we can keep then for this position you need to draw a corresponding top view first first draw the top view then corresponding front view we need to draw this is the step number one for the initial positions then we need to cut by using some cutting plane. Cutting plane is nothing but you can take any one rectangular plane like this. Now we are going to cut this particular solid by using this. You can consider as the knife or anything, right? Now we are going to move. Now the cutting plane is passing 30 mm from the top. From the top, the cutting plane is moving in this way 30 mm from the top and the axis, uh, the cutting plane is 30 degree to the HP. From this HP, the axis, we are going to cut like this or we are going to cut like this. Both this direction it is okay, right? Now we are going to cut in this direction. We are going to remove then the top from this cutting plane, the top portion is removed. Bottom portion is only available for our projection. For which we are going to draw the corresponding sectional top view and uh, true shape of the section. So this is for the solid. Now we cut. <laughs> now already the, for this particular problem we made the truncated prism. This is the truncated prism because we cut. We removed this top post. So for which we place like this object. Right. We place the object like this. Now I am going to cut this plane like this. Uh, external prism in this position. I removed this the top portions right 
remaining portion only we made for our understanding purpose now for this particular solid you need to draw the three views now is front view this is your front view it shows this bottom edge fully visible this cutting plate right it will be seen as the straight line right this is your front view in top view we need to draw this cutting portion removed portion is will be visible we have to draw as the hatched line because we drawn as this is the cross line this is the 45 degree hatched line you need to draw this is your sectional top view then third thing you need to draw the true shape of the section <coughs> that means we need to draw view this particular sectional a uh, top view in this particular position perpendicular to this cut surface we need to view then it will be projected in another reference plane that section is we call true shape of the section so three things we need to put after cutting you draw the front view then its top view then corresponding true shape of the section so i will explain this particular problem in the board for your easy understanding right so we will start with the In step number one, so you need to draw the horizontal line that is mean for the x y, right? X y reference line. I am going to draw that one. X y reference line above x y line. We know that h b below that we know that v. Now we are going to draw the top view. For this particular position, already I kept the object in this particular position, right? Two sides are parallel. Like this way, I place this. Then I am going to draw the corresponding top view, right? I am going to draw the top view of this, right? I am going to draw the corresponding top view of this X again. So you can use for drawing this. We can use the template for constructing this particular uh, top view, or you can use the compass method for drawing this excel. Right? This is the way we have completed this. Right? We have completed this top view of the excel. I need to mark the center point. This is the Center point of the external prism, point P minus O, right? Now I am going to mark this corner points as well, right? Because the prism we have the top corner points as well as the bottom corner points, right? You need to give the points also, right? This is for our understanding purpose. Already we uh, familiar with how we can uh, give the points. For example. Top corner points I will mark it as A, B, C, D, E, and F. And bottom corner points I will mark within the bracket B, Q, right? B, Q, and R. Here S, B, Q, R, S. This is D, and this point is E. These are the point. We mark here. Now the step number one is over. This is step number one. Simple top view for this particular solid. Now I am going to draw the corresponding front view. First to draw the axis line through this O point. So we know the axis height is 70 millimeter. For which we can draw this 70 millimeter height in this O point. Then you need to mark this O dash. So this is the point I mark as O dash. From this O dash. This is the height. Now we need to draw the projection from all these base corner points or base edge joining these points. We need to draw the projections. We need to draw the projections. Now I am going to draw its corresponding front view by drawing this vertical line. It may be seen as the rectangle, right? You can draw like this. This is for this. Uh, AB edge and we have the two edge here, one front edge and one of the rear edge. And we come to this point, we have the two edges here also. Then this is the extreme right side edge, right? Now, uh, now I will draw this particular portion here like this, right? 
and now I can mark these points because these points are not important but we need to mark these points A dash, B dash, C dash, D dash, again this is E dash and the F dash. Bottom we have B dash, Q dash, R dash, S dash, D dash and the U dash. So this is the front view for this particular solid top and the front view right now we are going to introduce the section plane what is given here the cutting plane is 30 degree to hp and means the axis 30 m using these two parameters angle of section plane and position of section plane so position of section plane from the top you need to mark 30 millimeter and mark this point then draw one horizontal line for your reference right this is for your reference purpose then i need to from this i am going to use this 30 degree inclinations 30 from this i am going to draw one 30 degree inclined line so this line is to be drawn like this this is my section plane this is my section plane i am going to draw the target way now this top portion is actually it is removed because we are going to remove this particular top portion, so it should be in lighter way, it should be in light colors. Only part of portion remaining solid only, I am going to keep, because the top portion is removed. This is section plane, how to represent this inclined line, followed by one dot, then one thick line. Here also followed by one small dash and thick line. This line is, I will mark in the arrow, then I am representing this this as the section plane sp what do you mean sp sp is the section plane i need to draw sp like this now i am going to mark the cutting points what are the cutting points in this edge a and b one point is we cut this is the cutting point i marked as one and <coughs> this is one dash and here we have the front edge because we are moving in this way right we are moving in this way then back right we are going to move in this way right this point is already marked first point the second point i am going to mark it as two dash then coming to this third point i mark here then this is the fourth point for this particular solid then coming to the back side this invisible point i will mark it as five dash in back side and this is the point six dash back side of these two dash so first point second point third point fourth point fifth point six six cutting points on these longer edges it cuts so i marked these cutting points on this cutting plane now we are going to project these cutting points to the top view then only we can get the corresponding projections corresponding sectional top view you need to draw the projection from all these points all these points merging with the corner points. Now I am going to draw the section plane. How to draw the section plane? You need a section line or hatching lines. You need to draw 45 degree line, incline line for equally spacing. You can leave 2 mm spacing between this line. 1.25 or 1.5 millimeter. You can equally space incline lines. You need to draw. This is nothing but that we call this section line then we completed the sectional top view now we completed the sectional top view sectional top view now one and three this is the step number two step number one is for simple top view step number two front view then we uh, use the cutting plane remove the top portion this is again the third question now the final step we want to uh, complete the true shape of the section. How we are going to complete this true shape? That is important. Draw one parallel line to this section plane above this solid. Right? Or otherwise directly you need to draw the perpendicular line. Perpendicular line from this cutting plane you need to draw. Right? I am going to draw this perpendicular line. Uh, right? Like this. This is my perpendicular line this point and another another. I need to draw the perpendicular line from all these points and now I am going to uh, draw one another reference line 
above this corner point of the solid, I need to mark the another reference line that is called as x1, y1, another reference line. I will measure these points from x, y to the point number 1. This is the cutting point 1, this is the cutting point 2, this is the cutting point 3 in the top view, this is the cutting point 4, cutting point 5 and cutting points. These cutting points is to be transferred here. So, you will measure this distance point 1 from x, y, you need to mark here. This is the point I marked as 1, 1. Then you mark this 2. 2, 1 will come here. This point in this line. And 3, 1 come in here. 3, 1. And 4, 1 will come here. And the 5th one will come this position. And this is our 6th one. You need to join all these points. You need to join all these points by a thick line. Then you get the corresponding true shape of this particular solid. We get the true shape. This is the true shape of the sex cell, right? So, actually true shape, it looks like the regular excel uh, what we cut in that particular position, it will be seen as like this. So, this is actually true shape. Here also you need to draw the section line for 45 degree. Right, you draw this 45 degree line like this. So that's we completed the step number four. So step number four is true shape of the section. I will write here. This is true shape of the section. True shape of section. Right? It is asked already. We completed the front view. This is the Topic. Once again, I will repeat for this particular problem. This is the actual solid before cut. Now we are cutting this particular using one uh, section plane. The positions are given. Now after cutting, the top portion is removed. Now we place in this HP position. Then draw the corresponding front view, top view, and true shape. For the front view positions. And uh, for top view already we know that you keep the two sides parallel to like that then you draw. For the front view you need to draw like that then after drawing this full uh, front view you need to draw the section plane for the 30 the distance given is 30 mm from the uh, top and we can use this 30 degree incline line 30 degree incline to VB then you can mark the cutting points 1 dash, 2 dash, up to 6 dash you need to mark these points then these cutting points is to be projected to the top view then you mark this point 1, 2, 6 then draw the hatching lines in the top view that's we complete the sectional top view then you draw one parallel line to this section plane that is we call this new reference line x1, y1 then draw the perpendicular to the these section points, all the section points draw the perpendicular lines. Now take the distance in the top view for uh, x, y to 1, 0 to 1 point. Then from here you need to mark, we get 1, 1. Similarly, 1, 1, 2, 1, 3, 1, 4, 1, 5, 1, 6, 1. You need to join all these points and draw this 45 degree incline hatching lines. Then we get the true shape of this section. This is the completion of this particular problem. Thanks for watching this video. Thank you.